All that has happened to our water supply over the last few years, conserving is more important than ever. The Board of Water Supply working to instill this message in the youngest of our users. Casey Line is live at BWS headquarters. And Casey, did you bring your paper and your colored crayons? I didn't bring left my I left my construction paper and my uh, crayons at home. But <laughs> it's not too late. Like I said, I live right down the street. Hey, I'll be, on a serious note, as you mentioned, yeah, there's been so much in the news uh, that we've been covering, uh, all kinds of, of horrible things that we still are dealing with. The Red Hill water crisis, uh, our friends on Maui still dealing with uh, issues with their drinking water. So it's never been more important to share this message with young people here in Hawaii. And we've been showing some of the amazing artwork. They might have it right. They might have it figured out better than we do, by the way. I want to show this. Check this out. This, I believe uh, Keone, who we're going to hear from in just a minute, says that may have been a fifth grader, but the, the limit is sixth grade. So either way, uh, these are some talented young people. Check out some of this art we've been showing you. You'll see some more on your screen in just a minute. Some more of uh, those really impressive drawings, those artwork that have become uh, memorialized. Uh, with the Board of Water Supply in the poster and poetry contest. Yes. Keone Amatos is with us. He's a public information specialist with the Board of Water Supply. <laughs> this is not just any little contest. This has been going on for a long time, right? There's some history behind this, and it's, it's, it's a tough competition. Oh, definitely. Thank you very much for having us. The Water Conservation Week Poster and Poetry Contest is a long-time tradition of the Board of Water Supply. Poster Contest has been around for 45 years, um, open to students in grades K to 6. You say people that work here even have, uh, remember back in their day when they were the winners, right? I mean, I, we have employees who yeah. who said, hey, you know, back in 1995, <laughs> I was the first place winner. I remember as a student uh, many years back ago um, participating in these contests as well. So again, it's been a long-time tradition. We're glad to be offering the contest again. Uh, and continue into the future. Very Kate. So uh, we're going to be talking with a, an a, a illustrator who has some um, uh, fame here in Hawaii, who has a lot of really um, impressive works. She's been part of this as well. We're going to share some of her illustrations, some of her books, and uh, talk to her in a moment. But give me the details on the contest. February 28th, the deadline, correct? Yes, February 28th deadline. The contest is open to students uh, on Oahu. Again, the poster contest is for um, grades K to 6. Poetry contest is open to students in grades 7 to 12. If uh, teachers or students or parents want more information, uh, they can visit the, visit the Board of Water Supply's website, boardofwatersupply.com. And we also have a, a link right to the contest page on yes. your website at Thank ours, uh, hawaiinews.com. You come down to the Board of Water Supply too, uh, Lacey Denise, you can get your uh, 2024 calendar that has some of the winners uh, from 2023 and even the registration form for 2024. We'll send things back to you for now, Lace. Oh, looks like I gotta check that out. Thanks.